That was a march called the Viking March, for you football fans, or not. Um, thank you for inviting us out here. I'm, I'm wearing a blue shirt tonight because we're all a little blue tonight because this is our final concert. Uh, yeah, oh, oh yes, so, so you, we all are in agreement there. Um, but, so the next time we, we play somewhere, there's going to be snow on the ground, so enjoy the lovely weather. And uh, we, we are happy to share National Night Out with you. We are going to uh, pay tribute to a lot of uh, wonderful musicians, a lot of wonderful songs this evening. We hope you play something that you like. The first thing we'd like to do is play, pay tribute to a wonderful man named Louis Armstrong. Uh, not only was Louis one of the great, great trumpet players of all time, but he was a person that all musicians listened to to see, yep, that's the way to phrase that tune. So the way Pops does it, that's the way to play that tune. So here's our tribute to the man they called Suchmo.
We had a few little Dixieland solos in the middle of all that stuff for your edification there. Uh, it has just been uh, pointed out to me that I should tell you who we are. Uh, we are the Eden Prairie Community Band. Let's hear it for us. Yeah, okay. We've come all the way from Eden Prairie for your night out. So, so glad to be here. Thank you, thank you. We're going to continue with, with great names in music. Another great entertainer from a little later after Lewis was Mr. Duke Ellington, great pianist, songwriter, arranger. And this is his theme song. This is Caravan.
Well, thank you. That's one of the, uh, probably the only popular tune that I know that through the ages, um, it's been given three different, <laughs> hi, it's been given uh, three different titles. We, uh, we are, says the uh, tune from County Derry, Irish tune from County Derry, the, uh, it's been known as Would God I Were the Tender Apple Blossom, and I think we all first learned it as Danny Boy. Um, we're going to play a little movie music now. How many people saw Pirates of the Caribbean? Yes, yes, okay. Well, well great stuff, right? And, and we're going to show you how, uh, you probably don't realize how important the music was to that movie because, you know, you were looking at the, uh, at the great nasty looking people in the movie and you were looking at the nasty monsters and, 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 uh, and then there was, then there was Johnny Depp who taught you how a real pirate talks and walks and looks, so that was a little different. Uh, so, uh, but beyond that, there was the music and the music was just great and, and it put so we're going to play the music from the Pirates of the Caribbean, Curse of the Black Pearl, and see if it doesn't bring back some of those uh, visuals from the movie.
Well, thank you. You uh, you remembered some of those scenes now. I'm sure you did. Yeah, that brings back memories. Um, we're going to pay tribute to another great American composer. People, uh, people know George Gershwin all over the world for his world-famous productions of Porgy and Bess, of Rhapsody in Blue. But he was also known in this country as a great songwriter of pop songs. And uh, we're going to play one for you now. And I get kind of excited because the band lets me play on this one. So, excuse me. Got to see if everything works. Never have so far. Hi. Yeah, hi there. Do you guys play instruments? Good. What instruments? Want to play what? Drums. Oh, and, and you? You gotta pick one yet. Yeah. Well, we'll help you later on. We, especially you that wants to play drums. We'll 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 uh, we'll make sure we see. We'll try to help you out a little bit later. Okay. Now, this one, however, features me. <laughs> see, so, so this this is called what? Okay. Anyway, we're gonna we're, we're gonna keep going here. This is uh, a song called "Embraceable You."
Hi. Avery. Hi. Hi. Oh, good. Stay a while. We only got a few left. So, I know. So. Okay. Okay, we'll, we'll get you, we'll get, we'll, we'll let you take part in here just a minute. Pardon me? Okay. Anyway, we're going to, we're going <laughs> to. <laughs> Thank you. That was uh, a little George Gerson. We'd like to pay tribute to another great American musician uh, during the war years. Glenn Miller had one of the great, well-known big bands during that time and quite often uh, went overseas to play for our boys in uniform and, as most of you know, became a, a casualty of the war himself. This is our tribute to Mr. Glenn Miller.
Now, how many people out there remember when phone numbers began with a word? Yes, there's one, two, okay. Yeah, hey, there's a few up there, yeah. So, Pennsylvania 65000, yep, that was the number to call back then. So, yes, yes, where are they? Wherever Adrian and your brother uh, ended up, we've got Avery, was it? Oh yeah, okay, Avery and your brother and anybody else. We're gonna, we're gonna leave the uh, American music for, and we're gonna do, there she is, and we're gonna do some Spanish music. And Spanish music always requires a lot of percussion. We're gonna, we're gonna, wait a minute. This is called El Arco de los Cabos. It means the Arch of Los Cabos. Are you impressed with my Spanish? Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. So, anyway, we are going to invite children of all ages. I think, I think it's on the other, is it over there, Rob? I think it's on the other side to come over here on this side, and if you would like to play percussion and help us out with this Latin tune in the band, and we need a lot of percussionists, so, um, yeah, that means drums, or other things that make noise. Those, those are drums. And we have maracas for you to make noise with. You want to be a drummer? You must learn how to play the maracas. Yes. yes. Oh, here come some more maraca players. Yes. Yes, they're here. Okay. Okay. And you're getting expert advice? Yes, more, more Morocco players, Rob. Yes, they're ready to play. Y'all set? Wait. A couple, couple more Morocco players coming, Rob, are you? Oh, did somebody get two? Oh, darn. Oh, I'm sorry. It looks like we're, we're, we're out. Of, we'll be doing this again next year, for those of you uh, morocco uh, uh, But, okay, now we will have the lesson on how to play the maraca. Yeah. You know how? Go show him. Go show him, because he, he's the teacher. Yeah. I think we do. Okay. All right, we're, we're about ready to go now. We've had the uh, Morocco lesson. And... Rob is a teacher who is telling the kids to listen first. Isn't, isn't that unusual? for a teacher to be saying that. Yes. Are we, are we ready to teach? Okay. This Las Acortes de Spanish.
Baraka section. Yes. You guys have a future. You're ready to be musicians now. Oh, you already know. Okay. Whoops. You, you okay? Yeah, she's okay. Right. Well, I hope uh, sometimes we, we accidentally give out a maraca and keep a kid. So I hope you get all your kids back because uh, uh, accidents have happened in the past year. Uh, let me take this moment to, uh, to, yeah, weren't they great? The little maraca players, weren't they wonderful? That was, uh, you have budding musicians on here. So. If you liked that Latin piece, next week, the band is Salsa del Sol, a nine piece Latin salsa band. And they'll be performing right here. And the management wants you to know that starting next week with the Salsa del Sol, whatever, our concerts move to an earlier time. The concerts will start at 6.30 and not at seven o'clock. So show up early so they don't play in the dark.
once again, a good old gospel tune gets turned into a little Dixieland style there, and that was uh, just a lot of fun with just a closer walk with thee. Uh, we played some music from a movie for you before. We're now going to play some music that you all know that is probably the number one musical of all time, and if you want to sing along and dance along and, and march along and whatever they did in Austria over there, please join in to the sound of music.
Well, we want to thank you very much for letting us be part of your national night out. Um, most of the guys up here are just people that played instrumental music sometime in school and just wanted to keep going or picked it up after a while. So I know some of you out there have got that clarinet sitting up in the attic and you played it in high school and uh, there's community bands all over just, just waiting for you. So get out there and have make fun like we make fun and make music and have a good time. Thanks for coming. We'll see you next time. Thank you, thank you, see you next time, thank you.